5-24-2011 Gap Open Up NASDAQ Stocks. We start with Baidu. We start with Travel Zoo. We start with Apple. Sina, which is, you know, got whacked again yesterday in their volatility. Solar, S-O-L-R, got on here. Little solar stock. Netflix, naturally, Creed, same culprits. Priceline, and these are artificial gap ups from current short term oversold bull and bear cycles. On the other hand, yesterday was quite different as everyone knows, and volatility works two ways. On the gap open down, we got CBRL, there must be some kind of news, but we have not like yesterday. Yesterday this list was a mile long. So basically, the markets are going to try to put in a bottom short term as they always do. And we can see clearly in our index analysis and things that have happened that the S&P 500 and some of the major components here are at very critical levels that we'll be watching. Some of them are violating daily moving averages and we'll see a recovery attempt like we always do at these critical areas and what we'll be monitoring today in price volatility <clears throat> is going to be where um, where that uh, key movement averages is are, are they buying through those or are they selling into them that's going to be the key the other thing mosaic had a good day yesterday mos off of the bottom FCX once again I will be featuring it again because t Friday Saturday or Friday and Monday's trading is that thing bounces right off that support line so yesterday was in the mid 46's it's gapping up today not quite a dollar but it is gapping up so here's your gap open up list we're gonna monitor <coughs> the indexes once again, the correction so far is week four. Selling into strength in upside volatility. You have downside volatility yesterday, so you have a counter trend upside volatility today. Upside and downside volatility will, is here to stay. So basically, after every good down day of selling, you get these counter trends. YNDX will be a uh, new IPO today as well. So we'll monitor consolidations, we'll monitor support, we'll monitor how stocks act at resistance. Uh, key is to find the most short-term oversold stocks that will make bounces. However, once they make the bounces, are they closing toward their highs at the end of the day or are they closing down toward their lows? Okay, and some of the short term oversold, everything gets short term oversold, and everything has upside volatility bounces. Upside volatility is used to squeeze the short sellers out of the original shorts that they have on the market and have been piling up for the last three weeks. 